Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Juice, uh, back with another video. This is probably like my fourth attempt uh, trying to do a screen recording on your, uh, here, and I've, I think I finally got it to work. Um, again, I'm not computer savvy, guys. The only thing I know how to do is my trading, my my trading applications, and that's pretty much it. So let's begin the markets. Let's start with the dollar. All right. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try to make this as short and sweet as possible because I, since again I I attempted this like three or four times already, so uh, trying to re repeating myself is <laughs> is getting a little annoying for me. So make it quick. The dollar. I said in my previous video, those videos don't get a lot of views. Why? Maybe because they're looking at charts for ten minutes. I know it gets boring. Sorry, but I like it. All right, so let's make it quick. The dollar hit 94 handle. It hit it twice already. All right, you can see it here. Better view. Let's look at the daily. Boom, boom. Let's extend this a little bit so you can see it. This is called the bear flag. I said it on my previous video. I said it was going to hit. try to hit the 94 handle. It did that. It came right back down. All right, it's under the eight-day moving average meaning that the uh, bear flag is still intact. The only thing that I got wrong was that they bought it back up and they brought it over the 93 and a quarter handle. They closed at 93 and a quarter. We don't, we, I like that close. I just, we just don't want to see the 93 and a half handle and close above that. Reason why is because that means that you'll hit the 94 handle for a third time. Uh, kind of explain to you what that means. If, you try to, um, how can I explain this? If you try to uh, go through a roof on your first attempt, the roof is very strong. So you're probably not gonna break the roof, uh, go through the roof on your first attempt. If you try it for the second time, the roof is a little weaker. So, but you might not go through. On the third time, fourth, fifth, if you keep on tapping that roof, eventually you'll go through it. That's what we don't want. By the end of the week, I want to see uh, the. Uh, I want to see. Excuse me. I want to see the uh, um, the formation go down here in between the low 93s, high 92, and uh, 92 handle. Um, that means that we are rocking and rolling with gold. Um, I would love to see a pattern of consolidation and keep on that compression between 92 and 94 because that would mean that we get a consolidation on the metals uh, uh, for silver and gold however no one has a crystal ball here no one can make a prediction um, if they say that they know <laughs> good luck all right so let's go to gold real quick all right for gold gold is in a healthy position even with that dip down uh, we are above the 21 day. It it just took two days. This candle right here is called a doji candle. That candle only signifies either two definitions to that candle. You could even uh, Google it if you like. Steve Neeson actually, Steve Neeson is the one that uh, originally taught candlestick charting. Uh, uh, brought it over to the Western world. He has a YouTube channel. He's the guy's a freaking brain when it comes to this stuff. Whatever. Um, this is a doji candle, meaning indecision or a pause, all right? The confirmation is the following candle, which is today. The candle today uh, is closed above the previous close, yes, uh, uh, closed above yesterday's close, all right, which is very bullish, meaning it might touch the 2000 level, all right? Let me extend this a little more. This trend line here, I extended it because it, just how funny funny how trend line, trend line works i'm sorry with all this fibonacci stuff this is what i used to trade back in, in the paper markets uh in 2017-18 all right i extended the trend line because i was like um i saw it touch back in 2018 in july and august and i saw it come back down and i'm like one day it's gonna break above it guess what it broke above it right here but it came right back down but it's still healthy. This is the weekly chart. It's above the eight-day moving average. 
I could go into a whole bunch of technical analysis with Bullinger bands, ADR, uh, Fibonacci extensions, retracements, which you kind of see here, but I, I, I had to hide some of them um, because it's just, it makes the charts look ugly and you won't even know what you're looking at. Um, so gold is healthy. We want it to stay above the 1920 to 1950 area. Okay, so if we could get that next leg to the 2000. Let's go to silver. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible because I've repeated myself already like four times on these uh, recordings. Guys, I am computer illiterate. I don't know anything about software or anything like that. The only thing I know software is my trading accounts. This one and trade station. I do my trade station. That's a bigger account, which I would never show you guys because that's my family account. All right. Uh, silver, very interesting, very strong. It never went under the, it never closed under the 21 day moving average. That's telling me it's very strong, very bullish. Uh, we might get another retest on the 30 handle. Now, same, uh, how, how do I say this? Same, um, same scenario, like the dollar. I told you if the dollar breaks that keeps tapping that 94 handle is eventually going to get breakthrough. That's why I wanted to come back down to the 93 handle. Same thing goes for uh, silver. I want to see a retest at the 30s. I don't think it's going to break over 30, even though the Fibonacci, uh, one of the Fibonacci retracements and extensions will say 3160, 3150s. These are all just numbers on a screen just to kind of give you a, visual, a visualization of what might happen some support and resistance level you cannot uh throw your confirmation at that you have to have multiple confirmations to be able to pull the trigger on something this is why it's a patience game all right so uh where was i where was i okay silver uh it looks bullish it needs to tap the 30 handle it might dip back down but the more times it taps the 30 handle i mean the, the handle the 30 dollar uh, mark the weaker the $30 mark, dollar mark will get and it will break through, okay? That's one scenario for the dollar and one scenario for silver and gold. However, the other scenario for the dollar and silver and gold, if the dollar breaks through the 94 handle, you're going to see a nice dip on the metals, okay? If we see a dip on the metals, I, well, let me, let me reiterate this. I want to see a dip on the metals, why? Because I want to shake out the weak hands in this market. There's a lot of FOMO buying. <clears throat> There's a lot of speculative buying. I need strong hands in this metals market. Why? Because this is a uh, preservation of wealth on inflation. The inflation of the money supply. There's a whole bunch of, there's two different definitions of inflation. I take the definition of the expansion of money supply. Uh, there's other definitions on there. If you look at Webster now, it's a different definition. Whatever. I'm not going to get to that now. Uh, we, I want to see a dip on silver to 22. I'm going to make it very simple. I want to see 22 dip. Am I going to get that? I don't know. If I had to bet, i probably bet against what I want. And that would mean that I would never see 22. I want to see it back in the 30s. I could be wrong. Um uh, who knows? No one could predict this type of stuff, but you can speculate and you can, and you have to know every single variable and every single scenario that could comp that can play out. For now, my scenario that I'm going with is I want a consolidation on silver from 20, uh, 26 to 28 area, stay there for a little while, get some compression in the volume, uh, get some volatility in there so we can make another leg up to the 30 and have some strength to break through that 30 mark. That means that my bear flag on the on the dollar will come true and we'll go back down to the 90 handle. All right, guys, uh, let's just look at this real quick. I want to show you guys on a more on a better visual. This is the spot price for silver. Again, like I said, 26 to 28, um, 26 to 28 um, consolidation. We get that compression in there so we could have a lot of oomph to break through that 30 level. All right, um, it could break through that 30 level now. Who knows? But we do want strength. I don't want speed. I want strength, and slow and steady wins the race here. This is a game of patience. The faster that it goes up, the faster it goes down. All right. Now, 
same thing goes for the dollar like I illustrated before in this other chart but maybe you guys might see it better here this is all bear flag all right I want to see by the end of the week in the third 93 level if it breaks 94s we're gonna get a dip on the metal uh, on the metals if it goes below 92s we're gonna see a, a run on the metals again the DXY is just an indicator an index of all the currencies that trade against the dollar so make it simple for you guys if this goes down that means that foreign currencies goes up if this goes up that means that foreign currencies go down all right that's pretty much it uh gold to silver ratio same deal i want to see this thing collapse uh but only time will tell because like i said before i love the gold and silver ratio the weekly chart this right here is very 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 bearish okay extremely bearish meaning it the whole week it's only what wednesday i don't even know what they were in uh me having a newborn here and lack of sleep uh, and I haven't even traded either because I have no time. But, all right, let's not make this video too long. Uh, this is very bearish. I want to see it collapse. Who knows what it's, what's going to happen. For now, it's intact, ready to go to the downside. All right. For silver, like I said before, weekly chart. Beautiful buy the dip play on the weekly chart. All right. On the daily chart, it held a 21-day moving average. If you look at my previous videos, you will see what I'm talking about. Those videos don't get a lot of views. Again, like I said before, it might be because you're looking at charts for now we're running on 11 minutes. I'm sorry, um, but I like this type of stuff. This is why I got into metals. 